hello and welcome. I'm 8-Bitted, let's play some more Europa Universalis 4. Let's get our guys back to the co province we are converting. Let's stay here, get our ships, damn it. You can continue patrolling in Constantinople. And get them on the ships and send them over to Mentis. We have some ships over here, more galleys, awesome. And the Mamelukes. Greek Orthodox. This province might still revolt. Let's see if we can make it revolt. Oh, we have no uh, diplomats as always. And I won't be able to buy the embassy for quite some time. Over here, let's attach them and set them over. Okay, I can build some buildings. Let's build the... Uh, okay, not enough for this one, but... Okay, I can't build... I can build it over here. More manpower. Which we need very, very badly. Anyway. I can't even go to war now, because I have too little manpower. Those revolts really drained my manpower. Okay. I will probably do a very swift war with the Ottomans, just reclaim Idirna. And those, this one is claimed by Valachia. And Bosnia and Serbia. This one is... Well, let's see, we could... Yeah, I guess Bulgaria is the next target for us. And damn, I have to vassalize Croatia. So many things to do. Still two years? And we've gotten our stuff back together. Let's wait to have at least 10,000 men before we declare our next war. We are gaining only 200. 70 per month. Damn, damn. And we will soon be kept out on military points. Lose some admin power. Okay. So. Mamelukes are winning their war as expected, but not the fastest. I will go to war with the Mamelukes over Rhodos very soon, and probably over Cyprus. Let's see, we have 16 galleys, the Mamelukes have how many? Um, navies, let's see, galleys. The Mamelukes still have 18 galleys. So we should probably wait until the military attack level 14. And then we should be able to take them. They are on military level 6. Don't be fooled, they are quite powerful early on. 
Mamelukes are always powerful. They can be so annoying. Okay, Ottomans. We should go to war with you now. Let's go and smash their army. Mantis has some revolt risk. We can't really do anything against that for now. We should take this military idea now. Doesn't really help us out, but it's better than nothing. Lots of mission we missions we can't do. And let's see, can we speed up this thing more? Only by getting events. Like, yeah. We should probably just... Okay, Venice declared war on Croatia, so... We won't get Croatia, and let's declare war to take our core Edirne back. They are allied with Crimea and Kenda. Okay, I don't want to go to war for now. I still want to stockpile some more manpower. And I want to increase my legitimacy to get that revolt risk down. It's quite annoying. Quite, quite annoying. And we have lost, lost the trade dispute, CB. Austria will conquest Salzburg. And let's see, our guy is 334, our next is 345, and he's 4 years old. The Ottomans. Take Kor Edirne. Hungary is willing to help out. And Hungary should help out. Yep, yep, yep. And we will be able to vassalize Kendar. So we are improving relations in Armenia. We can annex Armenia now. Um, where is it? Am I I'm starting to get crazy. Oh, I'm already annexing this. And I'm working on Ramazan. No, I'm not working on Ramazan. And I can't annex Ramazan for now unless I should send them a gift. And you, sir, will be annexed. Fine. Fine, fine. Let's get the discipline guy. Still getting quite some men. Okay, I will... Next thing I will do is vassalize Kandar. Get my core on Edirne back, and then I will think about vassalizing Bulgaria. Crimea is not at war with anyone. Yeah, yeah, I should totally do this. Valachia, I can't vassalize you because distance between borders, right? Okay. Maybe if I take a dinner, but let's actually build a bronze mortar and let's wait. Are there already training fields built in Constantinople? Buildings? Training fields? Training fields? Army? No, I want to build training fields, then build a bronze mortar, more bronze mortars, and then I will attack the Ottomans. 
take my Koa back and vassalize Kandar. And I'm making some money at least. Damn, I need much more money. Not being able to have revolts in the Greek part really slowed me down. The Ottomans declared war on Bosnia. Even better for us. This war should hurt their manpower, increase their revolt risk and we can just... Bosnia wants military access, sure. Go down and kill the Ottoman army, please. Let's get that stuff built. Okay, awesome, awesome. Awesome. The Ottomans are getting sieged. I'm not sure why exactly they decided to go to war with the Ottomans, uh, the Ottomans decided to go to war with Bosnia. We can get more Patriarch Authority, awesome, faster conversion, I love it. And lower mercenary costs, yeah. We need to get one more level and we can gain 10% ten, ten tax modifier. Yeah, this one is bad, this one is good again, good and awesome. So, wait for more uh, diplomatic power. Our manpower starts to come to a decent level again. And we also have very little money. Um, is the building already finished here? No. So let's wait until it is finished. It also reduces the maintenance of armies that are built in this province. That's why it's so important. And done. Let's build, no, not chips, build and bronze mortar and we gain a claim on Hamid, sure. What's Hamid? Well, do I care for it? Not really. We are annexing like two provinces. Oh, we could annex Georgia also very soon, but Georgia has still some claims around here. One, two provinces, three provinces. I know who we are going to attack next. Two cores and one, two, three claims. How long will these claims Stick around 14 years, 12 years, and yeah, I should totally go and declare war on them. Okay, the Ottomans have some troops over there. Let's go and destroy the Ottomans as soon as this mortar is done, and then we will go and take care of Kvara Koyunlu. I, I'm probably going to declare war on both of them at the same time because it will work out and I will have lower war exhaustion, a uh, lower, um, a lower time at which I'm being at war. 
let's see, I will smash that army, I will siege Idiana probably. How's your war going, Bosnia? Georgia is offering an royal marriage, sure. And our thing, our cannon is ready, we should get it to the other army. You are going to Armenia as well, perfect. And let's get the war with the Ottomans started. I have no diplomat of course, where are my diplomats? You are annexing, you are improving relations over here. I should really start to annex you as well. Damn. But I need you for now. Go over here to declare war. We want to take... Let's take Hamid and we will also take our core. Hungary will help us again. And we destroy the army of course. We have won some random battle. Crimea and Kendar. Kendar, Crimea. And the Ottomans decided to take care for uh will decide to take care of his army and you are going to retreat let's detach a siege go down here detach a siege here go to Ankara we will vassalize Kandar of course let's detach a siege Let's go and crush the army of Kandar. Let's see how old our amazing heir is. He's seven. And he has a strong claim, right? So when he gets in power, it will hugely increase our legitimacy. So make our... Oh, I have a female ruler. That's annoying. That means I won't be able to kill her. And Kandar decides to engage this army. We have five siege progress over here, four over here, and only one over here. Let's go and reinforce this army. Gain some admin power, perfect. They should come and reinforce me, right? You want to reinforce me, totally. No. Oh. Awesome. They are too late. And we are running until the end of the world. Let's go and go back. We can get Diplotech, Naval Morale, Colonial Range, nothing we care about, but let's see, we already get Naval Bonus plus 10%, so we'll take it. And next one will unlock the trade depot, which is great. And we will just stay here, get our cannon over to increase siege speed. And we get a claim on Kastmandu. Okay, we will start increasing relations with 
Aku Yunlu again until we have sieged like everything from Kanda. Kanda is actually our top priority because we can vassalize it. And after this war, we can probably vassalize the Ottomans as well. I have no diplomats for, ma for now. We have won the siege of Amasya. Okay. That means I should take this regiment, send it over here, get those back to Mentis to avoid rebellions. And I should probably just send my ships out here to increase the siege speed. Let's see, this one is going to take next. And Bosnia has taken the province back. So, Ottomans? Yeah, I will take back my... No, no, not cancel this one. Cancel the improve relations guy. Perfect. And let's see the Ottomans. The Ottomans. Oh, they are in a thing against me, in a collision, so I can't annex both of them. But I can make the Ottomans into a vessel of me. And... Yeah. Yeah, I want to make the Ottomans into a vessel. This is the best for now. What? Seriously? Oh my god, we are in a war against the Mamelukes. That's bad, I guess. Let's get our ships together. We should repair them a little. We should get all our troops together. You want what? As of. You are attacking like whom? As of is what? Oh, it's some province over here. So if we beat them, we can force them to give us back Rhodos and Cyprus, which will increase our prestige. I can probably get military access from Genoa. You are at war with whom? Okay, so if I just asked you for military access, you're willing to give it to me? Perfect. Let's combine them. The Mamelukes have part of their fleet over here. So if we attack them, let's get an admiral in charge. He's quite okay. If we attack them now, we might be able to snipe some of the boats before they get reinforcements. And yeah. 
we sank many of their ships. Perfect. We didn't lo lose a single ship. And now we should have more ships than they do. They only have 10 galleys left. Perfect. We should repair for a mon one month. And we will take our troops over and go and attack some of the troops while they are standing there. Ooh, they have gotten all their other ships over here. Let's get... Okay, we don't care about that. All our ships should be sufficiently repaired. Perfect. Let's go and blow up the rest of the fleet. Get the next admin idea. And next thing... Ooh, the next one is pretty good. But I think we should get the next admin points to reach level 10 and get the third idea group unlocked very soon because our military points are just stockpiling now and are being useless and let's blow up the fleet we will probably lose one ship no we will we won't lose any ships and we sank the whole fleet which means we should be able to get Rodos very soon. Mamelukes. Let's see. I can support rebels in Rodos. And increase the revolt risk by 3%. Well... That's not too good yet, the chance. But when they revolt, they have no fleets, which means they can't defeat the rebels. And we'll send some of our troops over to help our ally. <laughs> Who is our ally? Crimea here. That's fun. I just want to get my provinces back, otherwise I wouldn't be interested in helping Crimea. And we will go here and start sieging. We will reinforce of course. The Golden Horde has Muscovy is being occupied by Perm and everyone. It's good if Muscovy is actually small. They could become a threat to us. Lithuania is being occupied by Austria. Austria is very strong in this game. I hope they don't inherit Burgundy. But it will happen eventually. Let's get more guys ready. And they are losing down here as well. That's annoying. We are being attacked. And we'll lose this battle. They have so many troops, that's amazing. Okay, we should get more cannons. Cannons, more cannons. I guess two more. And get more ships. They still haven't won the Siege of Azov. We have finished the conversion of one province. Awesome, let's convert another one. It's very slow for now, but it 
will become faster. And we should detach the damaged and take the damaged ships to repair. And you're attacking me again, but this time I should be able to win. Yep, I won this. And let's get them out. I don't want to get attacked for now. Let's get our guys down to siege to go to the Mamelukian lands, defeat the army there. And then we should be able to take them up there as well. We'll just have to get all of our army together. Well, let's stop here and let them walk the rest of the way. Get them up again. Here are also some transport and they're all ready. And you should walk over here. Dalkadir is occupied by me, by me and there are a vessel of the Mamelukes. Let's use caution. We have already so many Diplo points. Let's spend them to reduce our revolt risk. Just because we don't need them for now. And come on. Okay. And go and throw them out of Kurdistan. Let's combine and take those four over, send them to Constantinople or this province over here and get them over to Kurdistan. Well, come on. Why did you stop attaching to my stuff? That's pretty annoying. And I'm probably losing that. More guys are coming. And you can't attach to the ships now. Let's take the half, half of them, get more troops over there. Yeah, I'm losing too many troops. Let's stay here for now. And they won, no, they didn't win in the end, but let's see. We have gotten our troops over here ready. Yeah. Let's get them down. And Greek Patriots in Cyprus. Perfect. More Mamalukian ships. I know what we are going to do. We should blockade Cyprus. Or we should destroy their ships. To avoid them ever getting a foothold back on Cyprus. You are going to the Gulf of Cyprus? No, not anymore. And let's see if we can destroy their fleet. Bay of Alexandria. Can we catch them? 25th, 24th, perfect. And let's shut down the remaining fleet. Get all of our guys together. 
this is being occupied by Dalkadir. Dalkadir, the Mamelukes. And we are sieging some stuff over here. Okay, let's please attach. The Timurids are threatening my trade again. Okay, let's get my ships ready again. Oh, they have Protestant stuff happening. Let's throw them out of Asurum. And I... Oh, my advisor died. The Inquisitor. That's annoying. Which means I'm probably not making any more progress. So I can cancel that one. And we should improve relations with um, Aquilunlu again. Ooh, Aquilunlu has a claim on Dalkadir. I should force the Mamelukes to release, uh, to give me Dalkadir and sell it to Aquilunlu then. And let's go and kill them over here as well. And we are killing them here as well. Here are some rebels. Okay. I could probably take Aleppo. Aleppo is awesome. So many provinces I want to take from the Mamelukes. But first we have to beat the Golden Horde. We will lose the Dishonored Call CP. That's fine with me. And yeah, I should start to get my ships ready again. Let's detach the damaged. And this one is being sieged by rebels. This one isn't. But it soon will be, I hope. And let's get our troops ready to cross and throw the Golden Horde out. Get our guys ready. Come on. We have too many diplomatic relations. The royal marriage with... Oh, the thing with Armenia. Uh, Chinoa, I mean. Yeah, let's hope we can... Yeah, I should probably land in Azov. I don't know. Let's attach them. They have 22 regiments over here. And of course, Syrian nationalists of all the things. Why are there no Crimean Patriots yet? That's the real question. And if we get all of our guys together, we should be able to take them, I hope, at least. And those are 16 regiments, but we should have better technology and stuff. We should also hire a um, general. I mean, they should have. They have no cannons. We have cannons, so we should be able to take them. Cannons should make the difference. And speaking of which, let's build two more. Okay. Not enough manpower. That thing again. So I won't build a new cannon for now to avoid losing manpower. Oh, those manpower issues. They are annoying. And they control Azov. 
Cyprus is being occupied by Greek patriots. Let's hope they defect very soon. Come on, go to Trapezunt, pick up more men. Oh, those wars are really hurting our manpower. Reska, okay, I don't care for that. We should be able to take the Golden Horde. They are on military tech 5. We should have a huge advantage with them having no cannons and having no uh, military thing. And I just want, really want to hurt the Mamelukes because they are our next big big enemy. Take Aleppo away from them. Okay, I want the global trade power. And let's hire a general. Yeah, I. Ooh, he's pretty decent. And, yep. They just lo lost a thousand men. Let's go and beat up the Mamelukian army. Let's lose the prestige. We can get new prestige very soon and go and actually just leave two sieging stacks behind over here. But we're not losing anything. Oh, they have more ships. I know what to do. Not letting them escape is, seems like a good idea to me. You are going to the Bay of Alexandria on the 5th. I will be there on the 4th. Let's stop. You are going to... Taram Ulus? What the hell? Where are you going? Oh, you're going inside. No, not anymore. Those patriots should start to flip the province very soon. And we can just go and siege everything back. Okay. We should, well, let's combine them and take them out and then go back, siege that. And we have sunk another Mamelukian fleet. Let's detach our damaged ships and send the... the Damage ships over to Mantis to repair and we will blockade them a little to further increase their war exhaustion and make it more likely for rebels to spawn in Rodos. Come on, enforce the demands. and siege that one as well and they will take care of the rebels perfect we have one siege over here the reason I'm sieging the stuff back from Crimea is that they will start producing troops if they are able and will help me out in this war Okay guys, this video is enormously long, 
45 minutes. Oh god. I will end it here. I hope I will see you in the next one. Where we will end this war. Probably get Cyprus back. And then just wait for our manpower to recover. And hopefully all these provinces will flip. We will be able to get Aleppo out of the peace deal. And maybe even... Well, and Dalkadir, of course. We will sell Dalkadir to Aquin Lunyu and then annex them very soon. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Goodbye.